Hello my friends, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. Today I want to talk to you about uh, one of the concepts that informs the paintings that I do. There's three major concepts that we, we talk about in um, my workshops. The first is this idea of bigger, faster, fresher, looser. Uh, number two is this idea of paint first and then think. And the third, which I want to talk about today, is this idea of structure versus spontaneity. Now, as many of you know, I paint in a spontaneous manner. I don't do any pre-planning except for selecting my color combinations, which I think is critical um, to, to being able to keep a flow going uh, as you begin to paint. If I didn't pick my colors beforehand, there's no way that I could achieve color harmony in my paintings, and there's no way I could kind of get to the point where I'm in the zone when I'm painting because I'd be constantly interrupting myself trying to choose what colors I want to use. So I always choose my color combinations first. That way I assure myself that I'm going to have color harmony in my painting and then I, I already have the, the colors out and I can not worry about getting into the zone uh, when I paint. Uh, but this idea of structure and spontaneity, they're two, uh, they're two contrasting uh, concepts. Um, you know, structure is this sort of a rigid, a more rigid uh, uh, um, sort of concept and spontaneity is kind of loose, free, and uh, uninhibited. Um, structure being more controlled, spontaneity being more uncontrolled. <clears throat> so I think that's why they work together for me so well. And the structure part to me represents uh, the design fundamentals that I always keep in my head uh, when I'm painting. Uh, now I see a lot of, you know, I see a lot of artwork in a lot of galleries and I see a lot of student work as I travel the country. Um, and, and, you know, some people don't worry about design fundamentals. And I think if you're a seasoned painter, uh, uh, particularly a seasoned abstract painter, if you choose not to do that, even though you know that stuff and you choose not to do it because you're an abstract, an abstract painter, hey, that's fine. It's so whatever you want to do, whatever works for you. What works for me what makes my paintings better and what will make your paintings better than other people's paintings is if you adhere to some design fundamentals. Now, for me, I only think about five things. That's shape, value, color, edges, and center of interest. And I think if you can master those five design fundamentals in your paintings, you'll be a much better painter and your paintings will be better than those others uh, are that are around you, because um, you'll have, you know, developed some mastery of the basics. Um, but these basics are common to all kinds of painting, not just abstract painting, but every kind of painting: landscape painting, still life paintings, figurative work. It doesn't matter; they're common to all. It's just basic design fundamentals, uh, and those are critical, I think, to becoming a good painter. And if you don't know those, if you don't have those in your head, you don't have those in your toolbox to use as a painter, then your work's going to suffer. Uh, and I can see it, you know, wherever I go, I see paintings that, particularly from students, and they don't have a sort of a basic grasp of um, design fundamentals. And that's one of the reasons that I teach it, because it's so important to make you a better painter. And that's my goal, is for you to be a better painter. Uh, so this idea of structure really for me is these design fundamentals. And I keep those in my head as I'm painting. Uh, simple concepts, hard to master, but simple concepts. Um, then the spontaneity is just the application of paint. Right? I know I have this structure in there. I know my, that I need to create this foundation uh, of structure in the painting. And, you know, it's, and I think I've talked about this before. It's like when I was an architect for almost 30 years, you know, if you don't have a structure, a foundation for a building, all right, it's going to collapse. It's not going to be strong. It's going to be weak. The same thing with your painting. If you don't have a structural foundation uh, for your paintings to build on, then your paintings are going to be weak. They're not going to be as good or as successful as they could be if you had that good foundation. So remember, uh, Put some kind of a structural framework that you can hang everything else off of. For me, it's shape, value, color, edges, and center of interest. And then the spontaneity is just, for me, is the, is, is the emotional part. is letting myself go, being spontaneous, being in the moment, being present 
with the painting and just letting it go, just putting it out there, putting myself out there on the canvas, realizing that this little bit of structure back there gives me the framework that I need to be loose and creative. And I think the structure aids the spontaneity. I mean, I really do think that spontaneity happens because the structure is already in place. You know, that I don't have to worry about it. I know it's going to be there. I know it's there. I trust it's going to be there. It's going to be the foundation. It's going to lay the groundwork for it. And everything else is just being loose, man. I mean, it really helps me be looser with that structure in place. And you'd think it would be counter to that, but for me, it's not. That's a sort of a, uh, the foundational component that my work has to have for me to be loose and free and spontaneous. So it might not work for you, but give it a shot. You never know, right? You never know. And if you don't know what those five things are, uh, th there's plenty of resources out there for you. Come to one of my workshops, uh, you know, take my online course, all that stuff's in there. Design fundamentals are crucial and a core component of what I teach in my workshops because a lot of people tell me, hey, we've never learned this information before. Nobody's ever taught us these basic things before, so we didn't know how to use those. So if you need that information, you know, if you, if you want to email me, you can go to my website, davidmkessler.com, um, find a workshop near you or take an online course, right? If you have any questions about it, email me. I mean, on my email's on every page of my, on my website. Uh, I get emails from people all over the country, all over the world, every week. Right? So if you have questions about it, let me know. I'll be happy to help you. That's why I'm here. All right? So until next time, I'll see you.